Hello, my lovelies. I hope you're all well. Please excuse the pink face. I caught the sun a bit this weekend. It was very sunny and lovely here in Cornwall. Um, today we are watching some Army Horowitz. Biden fans try to name one thing that he has accomplished this year. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Let's see what these uh, people have to say then. The cogs are turning. I don't really know. I'm Ami Horowitz and I'm here on the campus of UCLA to ask Joe Biden supporters what do they think he's accomplished in the last year? Let's go check it out. Did you vote Joe Biden? Or did you vote for someone else? Just let me know. I'm curious. It's just sort of like helped ease um, some like the distress. It's just like a more like a vibe. Yeah, yeah. He respects human lives a lot more. I think the intention is there at least. Look, what was the number one thing that Joe Biden did last year? You're like, yeah, I'm down with that. He wasn't Republican. Oh. I guess he, at the very least, stands for much more unity. He tries to support all different types of people. He Does doesn't he? try to marginalize anyone or really um, except for except Republicans. Well, for sure. <laughs> if you want to be a part, if you want to be included, you can be. Right. If you agree, if you stand by his policies and what he stands for, then you're you're in. Yeah. In terms of unification, <laughs> anything in particular you can point to about how he's unified the country? Um. No. Again, I don't know. In terms no. of like actual like policy. Everything is so vague, isn't it? There's, and I know we're only like a minute in, but. Everything's just like a, a vague idea. It's like the idea of Joe Biden rather than actual accomplishments. Like the guy who said he's helped get rid of some of the distress. What distress? What a booming economy and safe borders and all that stuff. That was distressful, was it? Or was it just what the mainstream media was telling you to be distressed about? Anything that comes to mind? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Anything come to mind? <sighs> nah. Sorry. No? Uh, yeah. I okay. Know, I... Is there a particular policy that you can point to? No. I, I don't really. know. What do you think he's accomplished? Like, actually got done? Honestly, I can't tell you for sure. Um. Wow. Not really anything coming to mind. Um. And you know what's really sad to me is that. This realisation is probably going to make zero difference to these people in terms of their political understandings. The fact that they cannot name a single thing that this man has achieved other than not being Trump. It's not going to change their minds at all. Foreign policy wise, anything you can think of or economically? No. What would you say he accomplished in his first year? Take your time. <laughs> She's trying. She's really trying. Bless her. I don't really know. I'm not gonna give you a good answer. Not that I can think of. Anything you can think of? Wow. Not that I can think of at the moment. Anything like economically or socially you can point to? Economically, yeah. <laughs> what kind of question? You think Joe Biden's done a good job as president? Any in particular that kind of jump out to you? Um, I don't know. Not so much. Yeah, I can really think of anything right now. Sorry I let you down, yeah. brother. <laughs> yeah, I thought I was expecting more from you guys. Like, I know, <laughs> not a lot Sorry. going on up here. Maybe uh, foreign policy-wise that you can think of? I can't okay. think of anything. You know, yes, but I probably can't think of it at the moment. Okay. Um, I think. How can you say yes then if you can't I think people think of need it. to look at it at least more nuanced than some people do. Um, do you have an answer? Is there anything you can point to of uh, last year that Joe Biden has done? You're like, you know, I'm a fan of that. I love what he did on that. No. Okay. No. No, nothing pops to mind? I mean, do you have something that comes to mind? I think that. 
Someone who's trying in politics actually goes a long way. That's an accomplishment in of itself. He's trying. Yeah, I kind of wish it, he's, uh, he could do a little more. <laughs> I wish he could do a little more and that, my friends, was the perfect sentence to finish on. Um, yeah. Do you know what? I think Joe Biden has disappointed a lot of people that voted for him and obviously there was a, an awful lot of people I think, obviously I'm not American, I don't live in America, but just from what I've seen and observed and what other people have told me, um, I believe a lot of people lent Joe Biden their vote just to get Trump out uh, and it's probably been a massive disappointment for them. I know in my country, in the UK, Boris Johnson, our Prime Minister, has probably been the biggest political disappointment of my generation and maybe actually the biggest disappointment in the last like 100 years or so. Um, it's because, you know, this is a man that um, <clears throat> he's the leader of the Conservative Party, but his policies are anything but conservative. You know, the uh, the ethos of conservatism is low tax and small government. And uh, yeah, we've got our highest tax burden since the Second World War. And the government are trying to take more and more control over people's lives. So it's anything but a conservative government. So massively disappointing for me as a conservative woman. Um, but yeah, I'd love to know your thoughts on... Uh, what Joe Biden has achieved. Do you think he's achieved anything? Do you think he will get a second term? Do you think he will be able to run for a second term? Be interesting to see what happens at the next elections, won't it? Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. I'll see you very soon.